hello 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 you guys thank you for coming to part two of updating my paycheck to paycheck budget um well that was not supposed to be called like that but it's technically what it is so thank you for stopping by my name is lupita thank you for watching this video if you are new to my channel and you like to see paycheck to paycheck savings paying off debt and you guys want to learn from my mistakes go ahead and subscribe <laughs> you guys okay when i say learn from my mistakes it's because we all do mistakes okay and not every budget is the same not every budget is perfect i'm always changing things i'm always trying to come up with new ways and stuff like that because i'm trying to find what works for me and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and that's the whole point of budgeting budgeting did i say it right anyway so let's go to paycheck number two of April. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write down my estimates. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to close this one because we're not done yet. This one is from April 8th to April 21st. And from my job my i'm not gonna even gonna put an expected because i already received this check and i wrote it down on my notes so i know it was 1163 but i think i do have an expected because i did put it on my monthly i remember that one 1150 okay so that was my estimate 1150 okay so we're going to start off with, oh, and then here I'm just going to leave it open because I th think my sister might send me the phone money and stuff. She gets paid, I think, on the 20th. So if she sends it to me, I will add it. Um, so there you go. So I'm just going to leave two blank spots just in case. For right now, we're working with 1150 because that's what we have. Let's go ahead and write down our expenses for these days. You guys, check out my shop. Um, I have some um the stickers for May already. I did came up with planner size. Um, 8.5 by 11 for Erin Condren. They're huge, you guys. They're huge. But I send them to Mary, which you guys might know that, you know, she, she uh, watches my videos. She's the one that provided the free forms that I have on my shop for budget. And she requested this um, <clears throat> sizes. So anyway... She received them, she loved them, and hey, I love them too, okay? So if you guys have that size of a planner, I already have that size. Check it out, okay? Um, let's go ahead and go with our expenses. So I'm going to put the important ones first, okay? So you guys can see why it didn't. I didn't mind using money from my savings for my last check. So here we go. Food, Primerica, Internet, Gas, and that's it. Okay, that's it. This is all the things I needed to pay that I cannot just say I, I'm going to skip it or no. It, it, these are things I have to pay. So let's do our due date. There's no due date for due for food. Um, Primerica is due on the 13th. The internet is due on the 10th or 11th. I'll just put 10. And there's no due date for gas. Estimate on food, I always do 200. Primerica, 53. Internet, 50. Five. gas i'll do 60 um that's it that's it you guys okay so it is 200 plus 53 plus 55 plus 60 
there you go three hundred sixty eight dollars okay and this is how much I'm gonna get paid so that's why last time I didn't mind on using my savings okay because I knew I was gonna bring it back okay now I'm gonna add my cash envelopes I'm going to add my 52 and 26, uh, save up pulley, living room, and tithe, which if you didn't watch last video, you guys know that I started doing this. So I'm going to budget $50, which I don't know yet where they are going to go. Okay, I might send that $50 to the same lady because I forgot to mention, but they are, when I saw the post, they are $5,000 behind on rent. Okay, the owner has been very patient with them, of course, because of the pandemic and all they can kick them out. But I'm sure he's being patient because of his, her situation. She's been having surgery after surgery after surgery. She's been in a lot of pain. She can no longer work because she is in pain all the time. She's cancer-free uh, uh, lady. Um, but it has left a lot of damage in her body. And now her 19-year-old daughter is the only one working supporting the family of three my voice breaks because it hurts so i apologize for that and so i'm going to continue probably donating um to them okay just if you want to hear more about it watch my last video my last paycheck to paycheck you guys can skip it until you guys find it <laughs> uh anyway so my estimate on cash envelopes and I hope I do them this time because last time you guys noticed I did not do my cash envelopes. 200. Um, it actually should be more. Weekly. For weekly, you know what? I'm just going to do 260 here, okay? More realistic. On my 52. Now this is for Mimi. Mimi from uh make up your plan she has a channel here she um, asked me how do i come up with my um, estimate on my savings and this is how i do it she does it the same way she just she was just wondering how i do mine so i look at my highest 75 and then here i look at my highest 52 and that's how i come up with my estimate so it's 127 but is two times this one is two times so I'll look at my next highest i almost forget it there you go 177 so i this i do this one twice so i look at my two highest and i look i do this one once i look at my first highest so 177 save apple save apple what i do is I go here, I look where I'm at. I already did the first one, which was $30. So I'll do $30. And then the second one I have. Oh, I'm not going to count this one because it's free. I have the biggest number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because the die has six numbers. And my biggest one is 44. Or go to jail which is 50 okay so I'm gonna put 50 plus 30 because we already did 30 so that's 80 okay so say Vapoli 80 living room I'm just gonna do 50 because lately I've been doing 25 and 25 every every week um so yes um you guys know for my save Apple money, you guys, that savings is for my computer. I want a bigger screen computer. Right now, I use a Apple laptop 
but I want a big screen because when I do stickers, sometimes I do struggle because they're very tiny and I do struggle a little bit. Anyway, I wanted a bigger screen, but I was thinking about it. I was like, you don't have a space for a computer. You barely have space where you're at right now. So I do have about $400 saved on that. I was giving it another two, three months for me to complete. Maybe it's more. Anyway, I was like, once I have 1000 to 1500 I'm still not going to have the place for that computer. So I was thinking, what's the next thing I need for the business? I need a camera. Now, do I need it, need it, need it? No, because technically I use my phone. But I need better quality. Here at my house, they say that my quality on pictures is not good. Because it's a Samsung. I don't know. I don't know how to work with the settings very well. But I was thinking on getting a camera. Which that had been my plan from the beginning. But I was just saying to myself, I have the phone, I have the phone, I have the phone. So I was thinking I might change the purpose of this envelope. And instead of being the laptop, I mean computer, I will probably get a camera. What do you guys think? Because I need to take pictures outside of the house for my t-shirts. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was just thinking a camera. But I'm still undecided. Wanted to bring it up with you guys because I love to share what I do. So just give me your thoughts on that, please. Um, I think this is it. I am... I'm going to show you guys my notes so you guys can see food i i remove silhouette because i'm trying not to put business related remember um primerica internet gas cash envelopes i i had 200 but you guys saw i changed it um uh, weekly i had 180 and i changed it to 170 this is my 26 52 save Apple. I had 60 I changed it to 80 living room 50 tithe 50 estimate here's my estimate and then here I brought down silhouette oh this is my unbudgeted okay this is my my other list unbudgeted which I already had McDonald's and because I didn't have my cash envelopes remember you guys saw I didn't have my cash envelopes so this was unbudgeted but yeah just showing you guys that I do keep up with it, even though I don't share it with you guys. But yeah, let's do the numbers, okay? And here we go. 200 plus 53 plus 55 plus 60 plus 260 plus 80 plus 50 plus 50 that's 900 85 okay 985 and I have 1150 minus 985 I would have 165 left um so, there's something else I did that I didn't share with you guys. I went and put money on my stocks. That one came out of my savings because it's like, I don't want to put everything I have on savings on my bank to our stocks because I want to have access to that money in case I need it. But I did put $400 I'm, this is just something I'm extra I'm sharing with you guys. Um, and another thing I want to do is I want to do the $100 challenge envelope. Okay. I been wanting it to do it since day one. And I don't want to be like I should have done it. Why didn't I? Da, da, da. So I'm going to do it. I have this 
pack already, which I've been having from day one. But I don't have enough yet. I have 80. I'm going to go get another pack or ask my sister because I think she was going to do it too. And I don't see her doing it. So I'm going to ask her to see if she can let me borrow 80, um, 20 envelopes. Or give me 20 envelopes. And I'm going to do it. So stay tuned, you guys. Um, What else? What else? What else? What else? I think this is it. This is how my budget looks like, you guys. Um, and yeah. So, that is it, you guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to close it. I promise I'm going to close it. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.